all know that Minecraft looks absolutely gorgeous with ray tracing enabled, but did you know that there's a whole adventure made by the NVIDIA team out there waiting for us on the store page? As a part of our five-week partnership with ASUS and NVIDIA, why don't you show us five portals only in Minecraft RTX? I've heard that this adventure is going to be incredible with visuals to match. So, let's get right into it. Number 1. Lobby Station What's up? This place looks so cool! I absolutely love the futuristic look! The whole place looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film! And we get to experience it all! In Minecraft! And it's all thanks to RTX! How cool is that? That man over there looks like he has a quest for us. Let's go talk to him to see what he might want. You hear that, sub? The robot in the middle of the room has lost its GPU. Oh no, what a shame. Apparently it has something to do with him being really sarcastic. Okay, sounds like fun. It seems like we're on a quest now. A quest to find all the four parts of the RTX graphics card so we can repair the robot in the middle of the station. We better get some gear if we want to survive. You should also go up to those armor stands over there to pick up some armor. I bet you'll need it. There we go, sub. You look ready for the adventures ahead. But how do we get there? Well, there's an airlock right over there. We need to go through the airlock base before we venture out, or we might damage the interior of the base. This adventure is all about retrieving the parts of the ASUS RTX 3080 graphics card. But lucky for you, you don't have to go on an adventure and risk your life to get one of these amazing cards. Not that they're not worth it. Asus and NVIDIA were nice enough to partner up with us and give us the chance to give away one of these cards to one of our lucky viewers. Stick around until the end of the video to find out how to enter. Number 2. Forest World as soon as you step out of the airlock, you're met with a stunning scene. There's lots of flowers, trees, and other vegetation. The sunlight hits the scenery at the perfect angle, and it makes everything look amazing. Look over there, Sub. Wow, it's a deer of some kind, with flowers all over it. I wonder if you can tame it. Whoa, you can. You can ride around on a flower deer. That's so cool. And what's this guy over here? It's a flower fox. How cute. Just be sure not to get too close. You might scare it away. This alien forest looks so cool. I wonder if you could climb onto one of these trees here. Oh, it seems like you can. What's that over there, though, Sub? It looks like the entrance to some kind of temple. Let's get down from here and go take a look. Whoa, this place is massive. I wonder if this is where we can find one of the GPU pieces. There seems to be some kind of puzzle. Standing on one of these pressure plates causes a color block to spawn. It looks like pushing them onto the right colors opens the different doors. This one looks like we need to use the water elevator here to push the blocks up so that we can drop them back down onto the platforms. How smart of you to come up with that sub. Now, the door to the final room seems to be open. There's a chest right there. I bet I know what we'll find in there, Sub. That's right! It's one of the pieces we need for the graphics card. Now we just have three more to go. I bet there will be one in each of the different biomes. What are we waiting for? Let's get exploring! You know, if you explore your way right below the video, you won't find a graphics card part. But what you will find is the subscribe button. So while you're there, you should give it a quick tap. Pressing it unlocks the notification bell so you never miss a single upload number three ice world how on earth are we gonna get to the ice world sub this whole place looks like there hasn't been snow in years wait what's this over here it looks like a portal and it looks like it could lead us straight to the ice world biome huh this portal looks really cool. I guess it fits the world. It is called Portal Pioneers after all. Stepping into the ice world, we're just lucky we can't feel how cold it is over here. There's ice literally everywhere, with massive ice spikes coming up from the ground. It looks like there's a small lab over there. We should go investigate. Wow, a scuba suit. I wonder what it's for. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. They don't seriously expect us to go into the 
the freezing water, do they? Well, if we want to get that GPU part, I guess we're gonna have to. Wait a moment. Hey, before we jump into the water, make sure to leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far. It really helps out the channel. And I've heard it makes Sub really happy. And he's gonna need it if he wants to be in a good mood after swimming in freezing water. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful down here. Ray tracing makes underwater scenes look so beautiful. And thanks to the scuba suit, it's not even cold down here. Now that's definitely a win in my book. Number 4. Crystal World why are we back in the forest, sir? Oh, look over there. It looks like the entrance to the underground crystal world. <laughs> it looks so cool down here, doesn't it? There's glowing crystals everywhere. If we mined all of these, I bet we would be rich. Well, you would be rich, sir. But we're not here for the crystals, are we, Sub? We're here for the final part of the graphics card. We just need to make sure we steer clear of these massive crystal spiders. They can really cause some damage. Whoa, look up, Sub. There are crystal bats flying around everywhere, dodging the massive crystal spikes that are sticking out of the ground. Number five, repairing the robot. Now that we've got all the graphic card pieces back from all the different worlds, we can finally repair the robot at the main base. Sub made sure not to show you exactly where he found all of the pieces, so you at home can still enjoy looking for them after you get your hands on one of these amazing RTX cards. Wow, Sub, what a video that was. All those different worlds look so cool and really realistic as well. This amazing video was possible thanks to Asus and NVIDIA deciding to partner up with us. So big shout out to them. Hey, do you remember when earlier in the video we told you about the chance to win an RTX 30 series card for yourself? Of course you do. It's probably the only thing you've been thinking about since. Well, it's actually really really simple to enter. All you need to do is to try and visit each of these different places we've showcased and upload your clips onto YouTube or Twitter at Sub-Zero Xdivide and at RTX Expand in a tweet and we'll be picking out a lucky viewer to receive their RTX 30 series graphics card. Make sure you check out the description for more information and rules for how to enter the giveaway. And make sure you go visit the website down below to find out more information on the Asus RTX graphics cards powered by NVIDIA GeForce. What a cool opportunity! I'm sure Subier is really busy working on his next cool video for us, especially now that he has one of these fancy new cards. So we'll have to let him get back to it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!